the bookmaking show. Hello, my name is Megan, and I'll be your bookmaking guide on the bookmaking show. Uh, first of all, I'm going to be showing you some of the books that we'll be making on the bookmaking show. This book has a Japanese stab binding. The spine is also reinforced with book binding tape. I use this book to uh, show my poetry. Next, I have an accordion fold book with signatures sewn in and pockets. I'll be showing you how to make signatures and an accordion fold, so don't worry. This also has a book binding spine. It's holding the covers together. Now we have a double sewn signature book. As you can see, the signatures are sewn in. And last, we have a post-it notebook. These make great gifts, and they add a decorative touch to your post-its. Okay, now I'm going to move on to items that you'll probably have lying around the house. First, we have your pencil. We have your ruler. We have glue. And we have scissors. Next, we have your string. You can use the, you can use string, you can use linen thread, and we have ribbon. The string and the linen thread you'll be using to sew your books together. The ribbon is to make sure that your book stays shut. This can also be used for a decorative touch. Next, we have paper clips. Paper clips is so that when you're sewing your book together, your pages stay together. So they won't be moving around or anything. Okay, now we have your scrap paper. Scrap paper is just like it said, scrap paper. We use this so that when you're gluing your book together, you don't get glue on your book. You don't want that. And then, lastly, we have decorative paper. I have some lovely examples here of tissue paper. And I also have washi paper. Washi paper is Japanese origami paper. These here are light styles of paper, but you can also go heavier if you want. But however, the heavier the paper is, the harder it's going to be for you to fold the paper and get a nice crease. And when it comes to bookmaking, you want a nice crease. Okay, well, I think this is everything for what you'll be needing and that you'll probably have lying around house. So if you give me a second, I'll move these out of the way and then I will get to what you'll probably won't have lying around the house. First we have your bone folder. Your bone folder is going to give you nice creases. Second, we have your awl. Your awl is going to poke your holes for when you're sewing your book. Next we have your book binding needle. This is going to make it easier for sewing your book. It only has bigger holes so that's easier for you to thread your needle. Okay, now we have Bookbinder's glue. This glue is a spine reinforcement. If you're using thread and you're afraid that it'll break, just apply this, let it dry, and it'll help reinforce it too. This dries clear, so you don't have to worry about it clashing with your colors. Now we also have another spine reinforcing technique. This is bookbinder's glue. I mean tape, sorry. Where's my head today? Okay, bookbinder's tape comes in many different colors. Uh, for instance, I have brown, light green, red, and black. As you can see, I use the red here for this spine. 
Um, you just put this over your spine to make sure that it's reinforced and that it stays. It's very sticky, so you don't have to worry about it coming off. Just use your bone folder, press it down, it'll stay there for good. Okay, well, give me another second, I'll move this and I'll show you the materials that we'll need. your cardstock. This is a heavier piece of cardstock. As you can see, it doesn't give a good crease. This is good for soft cover books. Now we have lighter cardstock. This is good for the body of your books, or instead of this, if you wanted, you could use printer paper. As you can see, I've already folded into an accordion fold. Don't worry, as I said before, I'll show you how to do an accordion fold. So, this makes up the body and the cover. Now you're probably wondering what we, what we would use for your hard covers. Well, that's simple. Map board. This here is the example of map board. We'll use this, cut it to size, and then we'll glue the decorated paper over it. So we have your map board and your card stock. Now I'm going to do a review of everything. As I just said, we have your map board. We have your heavy and your light card stock. We have your book binders glue, book binders tape, book binding needle, your all. Your bone folder, your pencil, ruler, glue stick, scissors, yarn, linen thread, ribbon, and your paper clips. We also have your scrap paper, and we have your decorative paper. Now, if you didn't get any of this before on our episode, don't worry. I've created a blog where you can go, and it'll tell you all the things that we covered on today's episode. It'll also tell you the tools and items that you will need for the book that we are going to make that day as well. Here is the address. Then, I think we covered pretty much everything that we need to for today. It's been nice getting to know you, so I can't wait to see you again. Until then, thanks.